right, folks, we are on the job here in Conyers, Georgia, and just a walk, walk and talk, kind of what we got going on, knocked a little divider wall out of the closet there, and we are painting everything. Now, we've got patchwork all over the place. You can't see it on the ceiling, but the ceiling looks like the walls. Being the mud is white and the ceiling is white, um, you can't tell it. But anyway, and that's going to be rough when it comes to sanding because I'm not going to be able to find my spots. Anyway, so we're putting a barn door here, 36-incher, one here as well, and then one on the entrance door. The dryer will be gas or electric. We will blow uh, insulation in both units. This is a townhouse, and uh, the lady is going to live in this side, a duplex. It's a duplex townhouse type. And so the lady is going to live in this side and Airbnb the other side. We are, down, we are almost right downtown Conyers, Georgia. Uh, and so, you know, there's not a, mo a lot of motels here. There's no motels in Old Town. And, you know, we've got the International Horse Park here and all of that. So um, folks uh, need a place to stay. And so anyway, that's what she's going to do, which is a pretty good idea. Uh, and if that don't work, she can always... Um, she can always just rent it out, you know. Anyway, so we've got the floors totally covered. And um, it is so nice to do that. It is so nice to totally cover the floors. And reason why is because you don't have to worry about anything. Anything. You just take that time and cover those floors. And you just blow and go, man. And uh, anyway, so we're going to put a runner here, a couple of inches on each side showing. And so we've done a ton of patchwork, and we don't normally do this much. But this lady, she, I bid it to do it. And um, normally on a repaint, this is what you call a repaint, normally on a repaint, you don't bid it for that unless the homeowner specifies that's what they want. Now, when I bid a repaint, just like any other normal painter, I will bid it to fix the cracks and the holes. I won't bid it to go in. We're talking about a repaint here, a 10, 20 year old house. I don't bid it to go. I don't go in and bid it to refinish the sheetrock work. Uh, maybe the the guy doing the drywall uh, when the house was built, he didn't finish it really good. Well, I just don't go automatically go in and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to refinish all of this and do that. You don't do that. That gets too expensive. It's a repaint. It's been painted three, four times. It's a repaint. I don't bid it to get the runs out if, if the last painter or homeowner has, has gotten runs all in the walls or roller marks in the walls. We don't bid it to get those out. We bid it, and I put it right in the contract, two coats on everything and um, all holes and cracks fixed period and I don't do we don't we don't bid it for anything else that's that's crazy and unless the homeowner specifies and of course when it's real bad I bring it to their attention look you got roller marks all over the place let's mud it out or not and uh you know, most of the time when I bring it to their attention, they decline it because it's going to be expensive because it ends up looking like, well, like this. And uh, so when a painter comes into your house and he's going to do a repaint, he is bidding that to, he is bidding the repaint to do, to fix cracks and holes, not to, not to come in and get all of the roller nap pairs from the the previous painters, he did, he isn't bidding it to get all the roller nap pairs out, sand all those out. He's not bidding it to get the roller marks out that the previous painters left. He's not bidding it, or he or she, there's some good female painters out there, they are not bidding it to get the runs out. 
they're bidding it to fix holes and cracks and uh, painted a couple of coats and move on. <laughs> and I try to convince folks, hey, this ain't the Taj Mahal. You lived with these roller marks all these years. You know, do you want to pay the extra money, you know, to get them fixed? And so anyway, I, I had a job not too long ago go south because of that very thing. And I've stated plain as day in the, in the bid, fix all cracks and holes. Fix all cracks and holes. And uh, anyway, so uh, anyway, that's it. So you can see the patchwork that's being done. Got a big one on the ceiling there. That was a rough one. So on this one, we are going to uh, pressure wash the whole outside, fix some broken windows, replace some glass. And then not on this side, but on the other side over here. We're going to put stairs with a landing and then going down, facing the other direction. On this one over here, we will put just straight stairs, no landing. Pressure wash the decks, the whole outside of the duplex. And uh, what else are we doing here? The stove will have gas. We're adjusting all of the doors. We're going to blow uh, insulation in both units in the attic. We are going to um, we're going to replace uh, 12 by 18 feet of the driveway. We're going to put rails here. Both sides. Replace that piece of glass. You can see it needs pressure washing. It's dirty. Uh, a couple of other things. Can't think of everything right now. Uh, not. It's more than a couple. It's it's several things. Several more things. And did I say? Yeah, I think I said we were putting a runner up through there. Anyway, gonna get the place looking good. And. Uh, Oh yeah, the exhaust fan, I gotta replace an exhaust fan, gotta put, a, take down some ceiling fans, install some, uh, putting up a fluorescent, and then I'm taking these two bar lights, here's the bar, taking these two bar lights, and we took them out, I will patch that, and we'll put one center of the bar, it'll like stretch out. Uh, just that sort of thing, anyway folks, so remember now, remember, remember, if you're having your house painted, there's A, B, and C. There is, there, there's, you can get an A-class job, a B-class job, or a C-class job. Now, uh, apartments uh, and, and a lot of new construction houses get C-class jobs. Between B and C, apartments get a C-class. And the rental units, they get C-class. Um, but then, you know, the B class is more of the middle class type houses. And, of course, A class is a million and up. And uh, although this woman here is pretty much getting an A class paint job, but she's paying for it. She's paying for that. And uh, remember, if you're getting your house painted, if you're getting your house painted, folks, you want roller marks mudded out so you can't see them anymore. You want runs taken care of, the old runs left over by years of painting. You want that done. You want the roller nap pairs taken out from all the previous times the house was painted. You want the drywall work refinished because of poor workmanship by the original drywaller. You want that done. You have to specify that in a repaint. You have to specify it. A painter comes in to paint your house. It is strictly to fix holes and cracks. Now, if the painter, I, I, if there's communication there, which sometimes there's not, somebody might live out of town or this or that or whatever, not be around that you're working for, a lack of communication, uh, 
In other words, a homeowner don't tell you, hey, I want all of these other things taken care of. Well, then you're going to get what we call basically a B-class job where just your holes and your cracks are going to be taken care of. Anyway, folks, hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's walking and working towards that self-reliant, self-sufficient lifestyle. I hope you are. And um, I try to be independent, try to live a freer life. If there's a way you can work for yourself, do it. If there's a way you can work for yourself, man, do it. It, uh, it just gives you more independence. Anyway, I've got to get busy, 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 busy. I hope everybody's doing well. Now, this house has uh, the uh, sprinklers, you know, the overhead sprinkler system, fire sprinklers. Scary to work around. I do not like working and a house or whatever that has those in there. Uh, one mistake and boom, water goes everywhere. Anyway, folks, that is it. So another big job here. This one will be on for a couple of weeks for sure. I got lots more work to do here than I mentioned. I would have to look over my contract to see what all I have to do. I can't remember it all. But uh, work is flowing in. I'm thankful for that. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can um, that we can hang our remodel and home repair hats up and uh, just strictly stick to uh, septic and plumbing eventually. But we're just not there yet. We are not there yet, and we got to pay the bills. So here we are. Although we don't mind doing this, it's kind of fun. Anyway, we'll see you.